Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. First of all, apologies for the background noise, it's a washing machine, but now it's the only time over the day that I have time to make this video and this little painting, so I hope that's not too distracting. So what I want to do is a tunnel pour. This is from a kitchen paper roll and I want to um, put it on a metallic gold, I'm going to put a metallic gold puddle and then I'm going to place the uh, tunnel on top of it and layer the colors like you would do it in a cup. So a bit like an open cup, but just very high. And see what how this turns out. So I hope you enjoy this. This is a really narrow opening and I have very shaky hands, so I'm not sure how good <laughs> I can uh, hold it on there. The puddle could be a little bit thicker, but okay. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot see the colors very good because it's out of the... But this is red. I was started with white. Let me see if I can zoom you out a bit. Like that. So started with white, went on with red, some purple. Oh, this is very thick. Some blue. Oh, you can see it already coming out at the bottom. Let me. You can already. I'm gonna show you when it's. Of course, it leaks a bit, and that's why it's already coming out a bit. I don't know how to not be completely in the way. I always think gold with reds and purples, blues, looks really nice. Let's do a third round, but that should be way enough for such a small canvas. The opposite to most people, I like to work on big canvas actually. But a lot of techniques and paintings, specifically with cells, work way better on small canvases because you have to tilt less. Okay, shall we look? Looky looky. can release it a bit. Oh, I see. If you're not so shaky, you can of course do that very, really different. But you see already a lot of cells coming out that has to do also with the density of the paint, how, you know, you put, you put it in the tube, so the highest density will sink to the bottom and already leave kind of a hole. I think in one color is also silicone. It's just tilted a bit, or perhaps I almost forgot what you should always do torch before you tilt, because then you develop cells and the ones that you can stretch to. Where is my torch? So see, now you have these little cells that are either silicone or air bubbles, and they will also stretch when you tilt, not only the ones that you had from the beginning. If you don't want to lose all the paint, you can use cardboard or your hands to guide it a bit. I don't think that I like it so much. I don't like how the purple takes over. There's some nice blue and some nice in the gold, but I don't think that I'm such a fan of how the purple reacted. Okay, 
No, I'm not. So I have a very purple dominant uh, painting that I don't like. No, I don't like. Do not like. I mean, you can always say there are a few elements that I like up here, down here, but the interaction between the purple and the white is not nice. I lost all the gold. So this is not a keeper for me, but I think it was cute to put it into that tunnel. Let me just show you. Here it's cute. Up there, but I don't like all this. Okay, but you can give it a try then. I mean a toilet paper roll, everybody has that. Or a kitchen paper and let me know how it turned out for you. So yeah, I don't think from the technique it's something difficult, but the color combination and the amount of paint. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back soon.